we are at the 15th Street intersection right here. Art Deco Hotel there. She's all over. Not going to point out all the Art Deco. Uh, my plan is we're going this way. It goes around the corner. This is the top. We'll be at this corner, the top of Ocean Drive, 15th Street. It runs obviously down to 1st Street, but I'm going to walk it in one continuous video from 15th down to 5th, which is the main strip um, of Miami Beach, of Miami Beach, of Ocean Drive. Um, it's a bit opposite Loomis Park, which is a green strip in between South Beach and Ocean Drive. So here we go, this is Ocean Drive. I'm going to get run over as soon as I... I may have to walk it a couple of times because I then want to take the photos as well. Yeah, it's just like that. Here we are to start. I think it's actually close to traffic. It is close to traffic. So if you've got bikes to buy, all about the bikes. I'm surprised actually that there's not as many bikes here. I mean, public transport, as I see it, is not that great. It's not that reliable. I mean, that Collins Express though is fantastic, and it is just outside my hotel. Um, but I suppose I had a bit of a bad experience when I first arrived, and then going, well, where is this Collins Express? And then a couple passed me, and I'm assuming because it was full. Uh, I was on one coming back yesterday, where it was full. You've got to stand behind a white line so you're not kind of opposite the driver. So, and I was hanging on basically for dear life. Um, anyway, there you go. The Betsy Ross. Do you want to see my face? Or do you want me to do that? I don't know. It's going to get a tired arm. Quite a wide. Yeah, quite a wide street. This is Loomis Park. It starts here. So it goes down to 5th. What I want to do is to come back, you know, at dusk, the magic hour, because then you get all the lights on and the neon and stuff. The thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that this weekend, or certainly probably not, I don't know, given it's going to be raining. That's one way of keeping fit, Gavin. Run. Oceans drive like that. Very blue, very green, very clean. It is actually very clean. Marriott Vacation Club. A lot of these are very old buildings. Wow. Well, they're very old for America, maybe not so the British. When I say Art Deco, I, I always think of 1920s, 1930s, so that, I suppose that really isn't that old, it's less than 100 years. But given the fact that this is prime real estate, this is a new building here, well maybe not. It's just they've had to read on the windows. Uh, prime real estate, you kind of think any property, where you know they're not getting the custom it's going to be jumped on taken over or knocked down and rebuilt actually i think this is protected a lot of these structures are protected along here how are we doing it's still with me 15th down the 5th okay Maybe we should do a kind of countdown clock down the bottom of the screen saying where which street I'm at. I don't actually know. I think this is 13th coming up. 
surf style. Cardoza Hotel. Now then, now then, Miami Vice, I've mentioned a couple of times, the very first episode was the Carlisle is here with Sonny Crockett played by Don Johnson um, resting against this wall here this green and pink wall watching a, um, I think it was a breakdancer on, on the road here on the junction and there's also a shot of two ladies um, coming out of the Carlisle going down that way in the opening credits of Miami Vice that's the same coming out of the same hotel so that is the Carlisle all Miami Vice fans, that's where it started. You can see actually what uh, there was no table and chairs there. It's all relatively new, I think. The fact that most places here have got tables and chairs on the pavement. And Leslie. There's some uh, building work going on here. The tides looks empty for now, but you know this place is all about money, so I'm sure eventually that'll over reopen. What are we on now? Counting them down, 12th Street. This is the continuation of the boardwalk. I'm calling it boardwalk, I think it's beach walk. As there's no boards. <laughs> See, Ocean Drive there, 12th Street. So when people say it's on the corner of Ocean and 12, that's the terminology you use, I think, for finding things in America. Generally, they have a grid system. It's all about the corners of intersections. So that would be, is that, what would you say there? Ocean and 12th. The number always comes second. Ooh. Straight up. If the GoPro orientation can handle it. That looks newish. No, maybe not. Redhead Burger. It just looks like a new building. Uh, this is the Versace Mansion. Is it this far up? I said, no, it's not. No. I thought it was further down. I think it is. This is where Gianni Versace, the fashion designer, got shot. Well, all right, okay. This is his house, but he also got shot on those stairs, apparently. It's now a restaurant, a very expensive restaurant. And when I say expensive, it's expensive. You can't just walk in there either. You've got to... Should we go and have a look at the menu? I feel that... I'm going to jaywalk. Jenny's lunch menu is thirty-four dollars. T-bone porterhouse, one hundred and twenty dollars. Well, that's what it looks like inside. Monday through Sunday, twelve till four. Hello, everybody. There you go, Journey to Satchi's house. Now a restaurant. She's at me when I go. My house will become a restaurant as well. Out of respect to me. Not roller skaters. I used to have a pair of roller skates. 
I suppose they're roller blades actually those I didn't have roller blades I had four can't be doing balancing on a blade what are we on here 11th counting down I hope you're counting down with me I'm sure you are it's like how much longer is this video that's the uh, the crossings I've pointed out in several of my um, videos in the summer with different countries as to what uh, the crossings signify so that is obviously a stop I don't think that matters there there's a car um, uh, a flashing one flashing orange hand with a uh, number countdown is basically please don't cross if you don't think you should I think it means it's just about to go red so it's basically our version of amber or their version of amber and then uh, white walk sign somebody walking is obviously green for go that's yeah, so easy if you put it in red amber green it makes more sense that's a hotel that's now a shop so they keep the old signage easier to now this is the I say famous a lot of it is this place here is the Cleveland and this is partly why I want to come back here on an evening because this is all lit up you can kind of see it's lit up with purple around the um, palm trees there but that's quite a busy place on an evening actually what I've read is during the week on the weekday it's pretty quiet here it's only at the weekend and of course, what's the weather going to be doing over the weekend? Yeah, there's the Clevelander. Do you know what I was looking for to find a shot of it? As soon as you want to cross, there's so many. Um, little shot there. We're going that way. I wanted to find some flamingos. I thought there was, oh, it's there. so that nobody mix it maybe or it blows away I doubt thank you for passing with us Clevelander no problem tacos 18 years 18 years 18 dollars I mean as with most of these places once you're in there they've got your wallet and they've got your money and I ate yesterday, just around the corner from my hotel. Um, you can check my Instagram account because I think I may have posted, I generally don't record food. Um, I did take a couple of photos as like a tourist. I may post, post them. Um, it was burger and chips. I'm not proud, but that's what it is. I'm in America, it's burger and chips, all right? So it's burger and chips, that's the breakwater another famous hotel I'm not saying world famous I think it's the Americans that say that it's like oh this is world famous no it's American famous come on let's let's calm it down a little bit great water uh, yeah so it was it was burger and chips and then for dessert what I wanted was key lime pie we didn't have key lime pie is that right uh, and then I was gonna go for a chocolate thing I didn't have that either I went for this cheesecake and it was like a door wedge and I couldn't I couldn't finish it it was just too much uh, don't know what that place is no big signs the locust anyway sorry I only partly finished that this is a bad habit so yeah, I had burger and chips, I had cheesecake, I had an orange juice. It's like they immediately put the drinks menu to you. Um, it's like cocktails, eighteen dollars. So I'll just have an orange juice. That was eight. Anyway, it turned up it was
Coast Guard's arrived. Oh look, there's a flamingo. It's not pink, but I'll take it. Just sat in the greenery. Valet parking. I will eventually finish what I'm saying. Um, it turned out it was like, uh, and I, I was obliged, you've got a tip. It's this thing about adding 20% on. So there's a fifth of your bill you add on. So they take your card, this, this, I pay by card rather than cash. They authorise the actual amount, then they bring you a paper thing and you can write in your tip. So anyway, I gave the guy $5. So it turned out it was like over $40 which is like 35 pounds and that was basically just burger and chips and a cheesecake so you can imagine what this place would be like if you went for steak or something what are they playing here? are they playing somewhere? there are courts here I've kind of walked past probably most of them You've probably seen a better view. I've been looking more towards the buildings and... Oh, that's Muscle Beach, right. They call Muscle Beach or Muscle... It's a muscly area. <laughs> Shore Park Hotel. I'm hoping I'm still recording. I did... Uh, Google map this earlier and it's about 16 17 minute walk I don't know what speed you the average walk is compared to me I mean I could be going really slow or really fast I think I'm probably quite a fast walker and down here I can see an old car obviously for publicity or whatever purposes probably maybe even rental purposes old American gelato Boudevard Hotel the colony that's another one I think I've got that's American famous I'm going to start saying American famous rather than world famous uh, is this volleyball courts maybe? CVS, ah, right, now, I think there's a sign, there is a sign, I can see it. Anybody that's seen the film Scarface, there is a notorious chainsaw scene, should we say, in a bathroom. And it was in here, in this very building. No, it's now CVS. CVS's are all over. I think it's generally a... It's like a WH Smith almost. Or a Boots, rather. Maybe it has food. Uh, I'm going to go over. Yeah, there's a notorious chainsaw scene which is set. Uh, I can actually probably point the camera up. It's up there. No trespassing, but they have got a sign uses the actual staircase that you can do in that entry suite. Just this watch out! There goes the Americans again with world what famous. Everything's world famous. Oh music, right, YouTube, you can't you can't hear the music, it's fine. If I point the camera this way, and if I sing myself, I can probably sing over the music, or at least talk over it. Uh, is this a Cadillac? I'm no good with American cars. Certainly old ones. Avalon Hotel, this is an advert for the Avalon Hotel.
we're nearly, we're nearly there they're saying thank god for that we're on seventh it's where the park finishes which is down here then what i'm going to do i'm going to walk back and take loads of photos so if you follow me on instagram i'm really sorry the majestic wow that's busy I can't, that's not that I'm getting older, I just see that, why do you want to sit there all enclosed in like chickens? I suppose just because so you can do it, I mean, walk past it and look at it, fine. Oh, what is going on with that car? I'm not here to look at cars, but yes, what's that paint job all about? It's probably not a pen job, it's probably a rat. Not rat back properly, have they? Okay. I mean, I am a, I am a jogger. Oh God, you imagine? I suppose you'd be more conditioned to this of jogging in this heat. I was saying that, I mean, have jogged when it's sunny, but... Phew, nearly there, because this is 6th Street. Beach Park Hotel. And the Barbizon. And they've got... There's a lot of restrooms here as well. Some cities you go to and it's like... There's like no public toilets. I think it's probably because it's a beach area. They're dotted all the way down. Also, we're drinking free drinking stations pretty good we just got to get close to the beach fine by me and we are virtually there this is the end I say this it goes down to first which is almost at South Point Park which is in the bottom of Miami Beach but we the main bit kind of stops here because the traffic comes up it's where it's cordoned off, and it's cordoned off from here up to 15th at the top. It looks like a newish extension. Fifth Street, TGI Fridays, Mini. Okay, well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed my trip down Ocean Drive. Didn't miss this. So everybody seems to take their photo with, which is the Miami Beach Club clock. Then February, it's nearly 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in oven temperature, but it's probably about a gas mark 18. So, uh, probably time to cool down right I'm just walking back up and taking photos so what am I doing talking to you again okay I've missed the clock there you go there's the clock Traffic. 